Welcome 3D students. So let's put lighting and rendering on our 3D sign. Now one thing to keep in mind with this type of a scene is that it looks, it really doesn't show much unless you have a background object for it to shine on. So let's zoom out and create a plane in the background and then switch to the top viewport and move that plane back away from your sign a little bit. And then switch back to the perspective viewport Now I'm going to zero out my segments by right clicking on the length and width segments and I'm going to switch to default shading. Now I need a material for this so I'm going to get my physical material here, drop it on the plane and this is going to look best with uh, some type of material on it like brick or stone or something as opposed to just a gray material. So find yourself a texture and uh, put it on the wall and make sure you put mapping on there so it looks good. So here's mine, and mine also has a normal map, and if you have one with a normal map, it looks even better with that on it. But remember, to use a normal map, the first thing you have to do is come down to the bump node and add a normal bump. And then on to that, you add your normal map, which is a bitmap. There's my normal map right there. Now once we've done that, we can proceed. If you need to adjust the size of your texture, then by all means add a UVW map to it. You know how to do this by now. And adjust the tiling, like so. And before I create my light, I'm going to switch from the Layer Manager to the uh, Hierarchy uh, view. You can see right here. And I'm going to click once. And when I do, you can see my armored light in the list over here. That's why I did it that way. Now I need three lights. So I'm going to click once. Then I'm going to go to the Modify tab. And I'm going to change that light from whatever it is to Mesh. And then I'm going to pick a Mesh. So I'm going to click the None button. And I'm going to click the Circle. And then I'm going to change this to the color that the circle needs to be, which is purple. Now that we've picked our mesh, let's see what it looks like by changing from the standard lighting to active shade. And that's what we have. Now we might need to adjust the exposure a little bit. But that's what we have so far. It's starting to look like a neon sign. I need to uh, change the uh, reflectiveness of my wall texture, so I'm going to do that. Always forget to do that. Okay, next we need to create another light. And this one's going to be for the karaoke word. And I'm going to select it now. And I'm going to go to the Modify tab. Click the None button and select the karaoke word. And change the color. Now you can clearly see that I'm going to need to start worrying about the exposure a little bit. And then go back to the Create tab, create another light, go to the Modify tab, make sure it's selected, click the color and change it to whatever the third color is supposed to be. And then pick the right mesh. And adjust the exposure. And that is how you create a neon sign and render it in 3D Max. So let's go ahead and open up Arnold Render View and do a render. And you can clearly see here that we have a lot of noise in the soft shadows. So to fix that, we can go to the Render Setup, go to the Arnold menu, and change the diffuse uh, samples to maybe four and then change the transmission to maybe four as well 
and see if that helps. And it will take longer to render every time you do that. But I think that clearly looks better. Now, right here, you see this little sort of pixelation here. That is aliasing. And we can change the camera AA to maybe 5 and see if that gets rid of some of that. AA stands for anti-aliasing and you can see that that does help. It sort of increased the resolution of the aliasing and smoothed it out, but it also added significantly to the render time. So let's zoom back out and see how that looks. That looks pretty good. So then I want you to save this image and add it to your ArtStation portfolio. In the next video we're going to export our sign, import it into Unreal, and build a scene around it. And I'll see you then.